Your neighbor, your city, once more and forevermore. Signing off. Talk to me, Frank. Look, we started off on the wrong foot. I'd like to correct that mistake. Have a drink. Yeah? For me. Uh, Frank, I really don't have time for this. I, I have to find another way to find my... Just listen. your attention now with those renegades yes but how did you the tv station used to be controlled by the military they did more than just broadcast from there thanks to you we can now listen in on the enemy it appears that waltz is looking for the same database you're after but the observatory is completely soaked with chemicals <laughs> i have no idea how this gre crap works but Waltz sure seems to know. Maybe the observatory is not the only place to access the database. Is this conversation all you have? Uh, for now. But if we got close to their position and hacked into their frequency, we could collect more intel on Waltz's plans. How? The transmission you heard was intercepted near an old military antenna in the wharf, just south of Marsh End Lane. If we adjust the frequency, We'll be able to hear everything they say, every syllable. And you'd know exactly what Waltz is up to. It'd be quicker if I could just find him. You're impatient, I understand. I know what it feels like to have wasted too much time, but you have to tread carefully. Remember, you said Waltz turned the power back on, then the renegades invaded the central loop. There's something going on, so best to collect as much intel as we can before you confront him. So, you think Waltz ordered the Renegades into the Central Loop? Well, until now, the Colonel kept him on a short leash in his stronghold. But the savages we've been seeing lately... What the fuck? Something must have changed. One of the PKs told me that Waltz is after something called, uh, X-13. Doesn't ring any bells. Right, anything else before I get going? Oh, one more thing. Look at that poster, Aiden. Nightrunners used to abide by that creed, live by it. I used to think we were as torn apart as that piece of paper, but the creed still means something. And if you increase the range, I can contact the remnants of the old Nightrunners some must still be alive. I see it now. This means a lot to you, doesn't it? Not just to me. To everyone here. But there's one piece missing. Do you know why I haven't thrown this poster away in all this time? Because of Luan. When I saw her for the first time, she was maybe, what, eight, nine years old. She was barely alive. She looked like she hadn't eaten in a year. And she was trying to help some kids get a crystal back from a thief. The guy was threatening them with a knife. He was twice their size, stronger, and she jumped on him. Bit his hands so deep that his screams were heard as far away as old Villador. After that, she gave the crystal to one of the boys and left. She didn't get anything out of it. She didn't have to risk it. I looked at her and thought, this is all we have left. As humans, we can fight one another. Everybody just for themselves. Or, no matter what, we can stand up for each other. Then I wrote down his credo. That little girl helped the Night Runners become who they were for years. And if we are to be reborn, we cannot do it without her. Why not without her? You see, she's a tough one. Maybe too tough. I trained her, helped heal her wounds, but never healed the biggest one. Revenge. 
She's built a mighty thick wall around herself. Can't seem to let go of her anger. If she doesn't, it could destroy her. <laughs> I know, I know. Drunk calling the kettle black, right? I'm in no position to judge, Frank. Thanks. No one's so fucking obsessed with her kill list. She needs to throw that damn thing away. Otherwise, it'll kill her. Let's hope she's better fighting them than I am. What are Luan's demons? Almost too many to count. But Satan himself is at the top. Wait, you mean Hakon? You know him? Yeah, we've met. It all came down to the TV station mission. Hakon was against that from the start. Got Killian on his side. He said it was suicide. But I know the truth. The fucker chickened out plain and simple. Till then, he wasn't just a night runner to me. I thought he was leader material. But he didn't have our backs. Tore the creed in half before he bolted, and with it, tore apart the night runners themselves. Fucking coward. Didn't deserve to lick Lawan's boots. <sighs> Look, I'm starting to get pissed off, and we should focus. What about Hakon killing Lucas? Hmm? That took some balls. Sure, but they weren't his balls, they were Waltz's. Hakon's just the guy's lapdog now. Sit, roll over, assassinate. Yeah, true. Neutered dogs are even more obedient than they were before. Exactly. Okay, I'm on my way. Then go get him. I'll be on the radio. You remind me of Luan, before she became obsessed with that goddamn hit list of hers. I'll get ears on the renegades for you. I'll find out what Waltz is up to. I promise. See? Waltz was right. These fuckers were eavesdropping on us. First him, then we'll get that GRE employee from the old Villador. And the boss will be over the moon. Where's Waltz? Waltz? We don't need Waltz to deal with you. Oh, good old Frank. So naive. Warning people. Talking way too much. Got him! <clears throat> <clears throat> So, yeah, Waltz wasn't here. 
and they know we're eavesdropping on them. I know. You know? Someone tried to tip me off, but the warning came too late. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I... <clears throat> my infection just flared up. The renegades were talking about some GRE doctor from the bazaar. Waltz is looking for him, too. Former GRE and old Villador? I'll look into it. Who tried to tip you off? Well, that's the strangest part. It was Hakon. He wants to meet with you. I thought he left the city. Well, he's still kicking, and he'll be waiting for you at the church on St. Paul Island. He's got the goods on Waltz. And hell, and maybe he knows something about Lawan, too. What do you mean, something more? I'm afraid she's found a lead on Hakon, and she means to hunt him again. Which means she could get herself into trouble. Do you know what really made the Night Runners special, Aiden? I mean, true heroes? It wasn't the inhibitors, not the strength or speed they granted us. For the Night Runners, it was balance that set us apart. Self control. That's why Lawan couldn't become a Night Runner. Not because she was too young. She was the fastest, braver than a lot of my men. But she couldn't achieve balance. I'll go meet with Hakon, Frank. You try and find out what happened to Lawan. Just remember, they're listening to you too. Will do, Aiden. Be careful. Who knows what Hakon is up to? I'm going back to the fisheye. Good luck. Frank, the church is empty. What are you talking about? Well, Hakon's not here, but it looks like the renegades were camped here. Their fire's still smoldering. Hey, then. Why did you want to meet, Hakon? Why not? It's been a while. Looks like you've made some new friends. How is Lawan, by the way? Wait, don't you know where she is? No. But what I do know is that someone's been killing William's top officers, each with a single crossbow bolt. Sounds like Lawan's MO, doesn't it? Okay, Pilgrim. Time to get down to business. You're still on Waltz's leash, I see. Enough chit-chat, Aiden. Give me the key. <laughs> what? The GRE key, Aiden. Give it to me. Try taking it from me, Hakon. I'll do my best. Promise. Get that key from him! Is that what you wanted? Are you really ready to kill me for that key, Hakon? Well, so many people have died already. You can't stop the wheel from turning now. 
But well, you had a chance to kill me. To take it from me at the bazaar. What changed? Well, what do you think, kid? You promised to get me out of the city. We had a deal. But then you ratted me out. And you think Waltz will just let you go, just like that? You know what he did to Dylan. To... to all the others. Yeah, but they all stood in his way. Dylan betrayed him. Lucas wouldn't give up the key. So? So you murdered him! The key is my pass out of the city. <sighs> Real fucking shame I have to kill you. <laughs> You're harder to get rid of than my wives. Fuck, I didn't realize how tough you got. <laughs> Hakan! You can't get away! Maybe. But you don't want to see me. I ain't as pretty as before. We've both seen your biomarker. You're not gonna find me in time! Die! <laughs> How many people have you betrayed, Hakon? Killian? Frank? Luan? Why did you betray her? Frank told you about the TV station. Told you I chickened out, right? Well, he's wrong about that. It was a suicide mission. And Luan, why did you leave her? What? How do you know about that? <laughs> Just answer the question. I made a deal with the devil. And she had her own hell to deal with. What are you talking about? I left to protect her. If I'd stayed, Walt would have had her killed. So why did you work with him? Why did you betray Frank? I didn't! I didn't betray Frank. I was trying to fix things. After the TV station, I was planning to spy on Waltz, but he got suspicious, threatened to kill Lawan. And now it's too late. <laughs> Sorry, Hakon. I didn't want this. Frank? It's Aiden. Hakon's dead. Oh, fuck no. I knew this would happen. Well, come back to the fisheye. I overheard something more about Waltz. He's heading to Old Villador, Aiden. The person he tracked down is a GRE doctor. Is that related to the database? I know the person he's after. I'll try to use the radio to reach her first. I'm taking that key, Aiden. 
Stop, Hakon. You're in no condition to fight. Uh, we'll soon find out, won't we? Hakon, talk to me. This doesn't make sense. Do the Night Runners mean nothing to you? Don't you want to make things right, Hakon? Nothing to make right anymore. The Night Runners are long gone. No matter what Frank says, he ain't gonna raise the dead. <sighs> Although it's a nice dream. What's really going on here? Frank told me how you broke with the Night Runners. Every day since, I've wondered. Would things have ended differently if I'd been there? Would my friends be alive? I know I can't bring anyone back. But I did make a vow. I'd prove myself to Frank and Lawan. I don't want to fight you anymore, Hakon. Neither do I, kid. Neither do I. I mean, I'm so tired. So fucking tired. It's quite a trip, huh? <clears throat> I was worried that I'd have to learn surfing on my own. Thanks for softening him up for me. Oh, it's my ray of sunshine with a lethal crossbow. Shut the fuck up. A good thing you didn't finish me off, Aiden, or she would have been pissed. The one? How did you f have my own connections? Try to stop me, and we're no longer friends, Aiden. Killing Hakon won't help you, Luan. <laughs> what the fuck do you know? I know about the Night Runners. Frank told me. He spoke about balance and letting go. <laughs> He's one to talk. But he has. And you could too. Can't you? Luan, he said he wanted to protect you. <laughs> what is he talking about, asshole? He said he joined Waltz because he wanted to spy on him. Hey, then shut up. But he had to stop because Walt threatened to hurt you. <laughs> Bullshit. I know you. Stop bullshitting me! The one! This is bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. Are you sure? Go before I change my mind, you asshole. I'm sorry. How you feel? I don't know. I... I feel... relieved. Some peace. Finally, but... But I should have killed him. He was on my list. He's still on my list. And throw your list away. That list is my only purpose. It helped me keep going. Throw it away, Luan. You think you know me? Uh, Fuck you. Luan, wait. Hakon, Butcher, Waltz. <laughs> Bravo, Luan. You made it. Frank? Where you been, kid? Waiting for you at the fisheye. Get over here. Yeah, I... Look, a lot went down since we last spoke. Fuck. What happened? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. And... You won't believe this, but... Luan was there, and... She let Hakon go. She what? Yeah. She destroyed her kill list. I'm floored. Save your shock for later, Frank. What about that doctor you... Come to the fisheye, Aiden. I'll tell you everything. Is this a private party, or can anyone crash it? You've done a lot for the city, Aiden. For the Night Runners. 
You'll be one of us someday, Aiden. You'll make a decent runner, won't you, Lawan? Huh? Ah, oh, the best. But as for today, hey, everyone, I wanted to say something. Hey! Everybody, hey! Hey! Shut up, all of you! Frank's got something to say. By whatever authority remains in me, I hereby make Luan officially and forever a night runner. The fuck yes! Hey, hey. Luan, you get the run. fuck out! Get him a beer! Frank? Uh, you mean. So, you're really bringing back the night runners? No, you're bringing them back. You and Aiden, in fact. You've already started. These old bastards are all former night runners who heard my broadcasts and came back. But you, you did them one better. You grew up. <laughs> Fuck you. See? The creed. If Hakon's alive, it means you learn to forgive. You found balance. That's what being a night runner is really all about. What about you, Frank? Do you forgive? Your timing always sucked, Hakon. Sometimes. But maybe not this time. I thought you could use this. Where'd that come from? I've kept it with me all along, Frank. So what will it be, Chief? If Luan can forgive you... <laughs> I guess I have no choice. Not a ringing endorsement, but I'll take what I can get. Good. Now, this is Lawan's time, not yours. Step back and shut up. Everybody, get your asses up to the roof. Much better place for a ceremony than a fucking bar. Oh, yeah! in you to serve a cause greater than myself today i am forged anew to serve a cause greater than myself i shall be the sword that slays the enemies of mankind i shall be the sword that slays the enemies of mankind i shall be the shield behind which humanity rises again. I shall be the shield behind which humanity rises again. I shall be the light in the darkness. I shall be the light in the darkness. This is my sacrifice. This is my sacrifice. This is my pledge. This is my pledge. As a night runner. As a night runner. Woohoo! Out of the job! I'm gonna make you proud. You already have, and I say that calls for celebration. Everyone! Back down to the bar. Aiden, the GRE doctor I told you about. It's Veronica Ryan. She lives in Old Villador. Are you kidding me? What? Well, she's one of the first people I met here. I... We were acquainted once. She used to come to the canteen. I guess I managed to avoid pissing her off during my booze hound days, because I convinced her to help you. Can we talk before you leave, Aiden? Uh, sure, yeah. Mm, I seem serious. Talk to you later, kid. Good luck. So, congratulations. Sorry for avoiding you. I just... You know what they say. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. Yeah. That's a pilgrim saying. Neither of us need to worry anymore. Luan, I... I was worried. <sighs> Here it comes. When you left, after... Um, after your place, I... Hack-ons and my place. <laughs> yeah, I can say that now. If I can say that, then it proves that you don't have to worry about me. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Of course I'm right. You heard Frank. It's a new day. A new Night Runners. A new me. Yeah, I don't know. I like the old you just fine. 
Night Runner or not. <laughs> Such sweet words, Aiden. Are you that drunk already? Yeah, I guess I better quit while I'm ahead. Look, I'm sorry I bailed on you. I was just... No, it's okay. It, it was really none of my business. But I made it your business. When I took you there. <sighs> Maybe I did it on purpose. On purpose? You've made me, and Frank, all this, your business. And look how much all of us have gained. <sighs> Maybe I... I wanted you to know. But I was too chicken shit to come out and tell you so. And so... We went shoe shopping. <laughs> right. Those fucking shoes. They look good on you. Okay. I've... I gotta go. I... To look for your sister, right? Sometimes I... Envy her. Envy her? How? That... She means so much... To someone. I'm sorry. Fuck, I'm talking bullshit. No, no, you're not, though. Just shut up. Thank you. Frank's got something for you, Aiden. Yeesh. No one. No, waiting for you downstairs. I'm coming, Hakon. Fuck. You... Go do your thing, Aiden. And good luck. Right now... I think I just gotta do my thing. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Hey, eh, kid? Uh, Frank found that doctor you were looking for. Veronica Ryan. Seems she used to work for the GRE. And I thought I knew everything about the women in this city. You can probably find her somewhere around the church. 我能趁著的多方 